In this video, I show you how I built this aluminum screen porch. Not like the whole porch, you know, not the deck and everything, but just the aluminum part and the screen part. And it came together really tight. If you're gonna build one of these things, get a good saw set up, because you're gonna be cutting aluminum, a lot of it, and you need to be really, really precise when you do it. All right, so let's look at the materials. There's basically two kinds of aluminum channel I used. Uh, one does not have a slot, so it's just for fitting together horizontal pieces. And then the other uh, aluminum channel is slotted. So there's kind of this removable slot and that allows you to drill and screw through, fix it to things, and then put that slot back in place. And I mainly use that stuff. And the beginning of the build was just pretty straight up. It's all about sighting in your vertical members in a porch like this and measuring like really precisely. We're not talking like quarter inch measurements. We're talking down to the 16th and 32nd just to get really precise cuts. Uh, aluminum, you can't really pound it into place or budget in like you would with wood. Instead, it just needs to be cut exactly to fit. If it ends up short, you see the gaps because it's just, it's just one of those things, especially this white stuff. So I spent a little extra time cutting it, in, uh, cutting it to fit and that time was well spent. This aluminum uh, affixes with these kind of footers. You know, you're not toenailing this stuff like you would wood if you're using two x four assembly. Instead, you're using these footers, these little brackets, and screwing it down. The only time on this porch that things got a little funky was with these posts. Uh, I wanted to sort of hug the post with my channel, so I took my Dremel and I cut out some slots and that allowed me to slot in the aluminum channel and kind of bury it in the post a little bit. You know, I'm imagining on your porch, if you're building one of these, you don't have that exact issue, but at least it's an example of how you can work with this aluminum and make some miter cuts and work around things. And you know, it's, it's not flexible, but if you have a little ingenuity and just think about it a little bit, you can get around some, some strange corners and things. Here you can see what it's like putting that channel together in the end. It has this kind of slotted uh, cover and the cover you can kind of tap in place. And once it's in there, man, it's it's really cool. Like It looks really good and sort of invisible. Uh, like I said, I mitered some cuts to go around this corner and that worked out really well. Uh, slow going, you know, real precise, slow cuts. And you even need to miter the channel uh, cap, that little cover thing that slides in there. And after that post, I just kept working around the porch, just putting in my vertical members. Now note, and I don't have a lo whole lot of footage of this, but note that there are also horizontal members on this porch, not just this vertical stuff. Uh, you might've noticed so far that my video has been really quiet. Uh, you know, like I've been talking voiceover, but at this point, the audio kicked in on my camera. Like my microphone started working again. You hear the train going by and the tools and everything. I always prefer to make videos with audio, but man, I don't know what's going on, but my camera was just on the, on the fritz for the first part of this build and I had no recorded sound. All right, one more uh, mitered kind of uh, channel here you can see. And with that cap tapped in place, it's ready to go. So people around here uh, go for screen porches uh, for one reason, one reason only, and that's the bugs. Uh, I'm reminded of that right now. Uh, we don't have any mosquitoes right now. We got the little black dudes. Either no seums or biting flies or whatever, little black flies. Bite the hell out of you, hurt really bad, and um, don't leave a mark, but they're annoying. Uh, there are some downsides to a screen porch you should consider. Cost, obviously, installation. Uh, maintenance over time, that screen doesn't last forever, and screen tends to get kind of dusty. You don't notice it, but it needs to be cleaned uh, periodically. Uh, you can just clean it with a, with a sponge and some water and then hose it off. Uh, if you have a porch that you can hose off. Uh, other downsides, a screen porch is a little bit warmer than a non-screen porch, especially if you've got no CM screen on there. Uh, most people like these guys would have a, uh, in this, at least in this area, have a ceiling fan out there just to circulate the air on the screen porch. And then also it's just, it's just, this is so obvious, but it's just not as open. You can probably see here, you know, it's already kind of closing in. Uh, people like that kind of feeling of privacy, but it's also, you know, it's just not as open. You can't just jump off any side of this porch. Uh, so anyway, there's some pluses and minuses to consider. 
pretty much they're a plus. A lot of people I talk to, they just don't even use their outdoor uh, decks and porches because they're not screened. Once it's screened, they get outside and that's what it's all about. All right, so I've worked my way around the screen porch, uh, putting in the vertical members, the posts first, uh, wrapping them around the columns, and now it's time for the doorway. And the doorway is gonna be uh, centered on the staircase. Staircase is 54. I just used some tape to lay it out, so I've got my center point here, and then it's a 36 inch spread. The thing with working with this metal is that there's no uh, leeway. So, you know, you've got to really sort of nail it in and get it just right. Um, so, you know, I've just kind of made this measurement, checked it twice. I'm going to put a vertical post here, a vertical post here, then the doorway assemble will screw into that. Now at this end, there's just a little something different. We've got uh, vinyl siding and one of these dudes, these rails, needs to go in place. So I'm just gonna cut the siding away and fix it to the wall. Okay, so I'm installing that final rail on that end and uh, first I'm gonna get some J channel just to tidy up the edge of the siding, make it watertight and then the rail. All right, that's kind of a bummer. This fits really good, but there's just not enough room for me to work that track here. So I am gonna have to pull that out and put a, probably like a three quarter spacer behind it. All right, so with the entire frame built, along with those horizontal members I was talking about, it was time to put the screen in, and this was installed using flat spline. Uh, you can get a round spline, and, and that's sort of the customary traditional stuff for putting together screens. But this is a flat spline molding, so basically the grooves that the spline go into are kind of flat and tilted, and it takes some, some muscle, like some energy to get this stuff in place. Uh, some people use like Dawn dish soap just to lubricate it and make, make it slide in a little bit easier. But I just kind of muscled it in place and it takes a little bit of work, but once it's in, it's in. Uh, the screen itself is aluminum, so it's pretty rigid and it, you know, it does bend a little bit when you're putting it in, but you've got to be careful when you're making your grooves or it'll rip. You know, there are a lot of kinds of screen out there. Copper, plastic, PVC, uh, aluminum, steel. This aluminum stuff is pretty nice. It's coated and uh, you can cut it with a pair of scissors, but it's also pretty rigid and strong. As for putting the screen in technique, there's a lot of videos out there. I would recommend if you are putting in, in some screen, just go take it slow, keep your roller on the outside, and you should be okay. I put the screen door in next and uh, put the hardware on it, which I don't think I show you here in the video, but get the hardware together, and that's it. The screen porch is ready to go. Uh, the cool thing about a screen porch like this, if you rip the screen or if it ages over time or whatever, you can always replace it. Uh, you just pull it out, pull the flat spline out, and replace the screens. All right, thanks for checking out the project.